So, I'm going to teach you guys uh, psychokinesis. Just, uh, I guess, a trick. Um, I am currently eating cheese out of this styrofoam cup. For some reason, that helps build the static electricity in the cup. But, uh, what I'm about to show you is uh, one of the ways you can tell if you're uh, telekinetic or psychokinesis. I guess they kind of both run off the same thing. But cheese, for some reason, makes the cup extra static -y, so it builds up on your hand makes it easier. But the cup isn't new. So you take the cup like this and get it stop moving. Oh crap. And there's no fan moving around in here. I mean, yeah, there is a fan on, but it's, I've got it covered up with a blanket. Hush. Uh, it's, uh, this table. Table is not properly level. Let me fix that. There, that should have fixed it. It should have, but it didn't. For some reason, it keeps wanting to roll that way. See, I'm not even touching the cup. Hush. I'll move the phone so you can see this better. Go zoom. Alright, so cup and not even touching it. And the fan isn't on. Well, it is, but it's covered up like I said. Now, for some reason, eating cheese helps, and this table, like I said, is not entirely level. Tipper, get your butt up here and lie down. Get up here. Lie down. Sorry, my dog is very annoying. See, I'm not even touching the cup. I'm kind of moving it with my mind and my static electricity. Some days it's, um, there's more static electricity built up on my hands, but uh, it seems like it's wearing off. For some reason, eating cheese out of the cup helps. This is a regular styrofoam cup. You don't even touch the cup.
is one of the ways you can, probably one of the easiest ways you can, ah oh crap, I touched the cup. It's probably one of the easiest ways you can find out if you're telekinetic or have uh, electrical abilities. For some reason, star foam works this way. I'm actually holding my breath, so if you hear me exhale, that's what's happening. And I'm trying to blow away from where the phone is. Tipper, get your butt up here and lie down. I'm sorry. My dog is being very annoying, as he always is. You don't even touch the cup after your, the static electricity you feel build. You don't even have to touch the cup after that. Um, like I said, it works better on a blue, smooth, flat surface. Much I bumped the cup there, so then... Uh, turn on a smooth, flat, level service surface. A bigger table than a coffee table would work. Um, I don't know why it keeps wanting to roll more to the left. Uh, this table has been through a lot. Hush. See, I'm trying to get it more, it's come more this way, but in the other direction, and it's kind of difficult, because I think it's coming uphill. Okay, uh, also another thing, if you can see that hair right there on my finger, um, it is trying to attach itself to the cup. Uh, see how it's moving. Let's see, I don't even see it in the phone. Uh, there it is. See how it's kind of moving towards the cup? That is also a telltale of how much static electricity you have on your skin and on the cup as well. Because if I can find it, there it is. It'll kind of move towards the cup. Shut up, Tipper. You can see that piece of hair. We'll try to stick to the cup. Tipper, lie down.
sorry. My dog is very annoying. Very disobedient, very stubborn. I'd like to be nice to him, but that's near impossible. But yeah, this is uh, mainly one of the ways you can tell if you're telekinetic or have any kind of um, electronic or electrical powers at all because static electricity has a lot to do with uh, telekinesis. And by doing it this way, you're pretty much building up the charge, not even touching the cup, just kind of slightly going over it so the charge is stronger each time you do it. And if the charge is strong enough, sometimes you can push the cup. Instead of pulling. Believe it or not, first time I ever did this I did it for an hour and a half and it was on an actual table but this is the only smooth surface I have in my house at the moment it's somewhat even not entirely I'm sure you could probably do this with a balloon as well if you rub it against your hair after you've blown dry it, blown, blow dried it. Uh, you could probably take a balloon and get the same static effect. Okay, you could probably do it with your hands as well. And that piece of hair is still stuck to my finger. But yeah, this is mainly the way you can tell if you're telekinetic. Probably the easiest way, the less expensive way. I've already done a video of me affecting a Xbox Afterglow controller. Uh, the speakers I also realized is me. Um, it wasn't just in that one speaker, but also in the TV and some other headphones as well. Um, that causes that sound. Um, I'd be talking about these headphones. Uh, the same speaker sound, the screeching sound, is uh, has to do with this. Anyhow, that's um, pretty much all I have there. Uh, it's just a video of moving, moving a cup without touching it. Styrofoam cup. It's probably one of the oldest tricks in the book. Uh, you can look on obviously YouTube and find out telekinesis uh, this is one of the easiest ways to do it sometimes it takes practice um, to do this and I'm probably losing my charge but it's okay the video is pretty much over anyway I'm just <laughs> I'm just messing around Some days, like I say, some days I'm more statically, uh, electrically charged than today. And I haven't even meditated or anything, so 
this is doing pretty good for not having meditated and I'm done and there you go it's one of the easiest ways you can find out if you're telekinetic or not